Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author and trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about gold. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first, I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So the COT data. So essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their positioning and their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the high Yes, probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment the market is rejecting to the upside quite aggressively a strong historical support and demand area. In fact, as we know in the market, previous resistance, once it is broken to the upside, becomes support. And the more times a level has been tested in the past, the more it then becomes strong structure and strong structure support in the case of a break to the upside because in the market, previous resistance once it is broken to the upside becomes support. So we can see how this level, since it was tested in the past multiple times, and then the market broke above the level with this impulse, at that point, all that previous resistance became support here. And the market tested here that previous resistance turned support and rejected it to the upside quite aggressively. And now, if we look into the most recent price action, we can notice how the market has just created this massive monthly candle that has a very long wick and a green body. Now, when you see a candle like this, in which you have essentially a body, which is green, and then a very long wick, usually the next candle, what it usually does is it fills in the wick. So it creates a continuation to the upside. That is because if on the monthly time frame you have a candle like this, on the lower time frame, so potentially the weekly time frame, you will actually have an impulse and a correction in which the correction is exactly the wick that you see on the monthly time frame. And after that, you get the continuation to the upside, which is actually the wick that gets filled. In fact, if we drop down on the weekly time frame, what we can notice is that from a weekly perspective, we in fact see a strong impulse followed by a correction. And after an impulse and a correction, what you would usually expect is to see the continuation to the upside. Now, when you have an impulse and you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 0.3 to 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements all lining up exactly inside of this area, therefore creating confluence of support inside of this zone. And inside of a confluence of support area, you would expect to see institutional longing. And we will be speaking about institutional longing in just a few minutes when we move to the commitment of traders and see at how institutions are moving their positioning. For now, let's keep in mind that the monthly and weekly timeframes are both indicating for a potential push higher and drop down on the daily timeframe. Now, from a daily perspective, first of all, I did speak about gold quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it after this M pattern. From here, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect first this move to the upside. And then from here, here again, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect the push lower and the creation of a new lower low. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link in the description both these previous analysis, so you can go and check them out for more free education. However, at the moment, what do we have and where we could be looking for the next potential move here on this pair? Now, before we go in more detail into the technicals here from a daily perspective for this pair, first, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. And if we check the data precisely for gold, we can see how now it's already three reports in a row that net positions get increased. We went, in fact, from having 201.9k net positions up to 202.8k net positions and now 204.2k net positions. And if we look at the long run, we can 
can see how at the moment institutions have a massive amount of longs compared to only very few shorts with 278,000 longs compared to only 74,000 shorts from an institutional perspective. So gold at the moment on the institutional side of the market is actually quite strong. So let's keep that in mind and move back to the chart. Now, by the way, before I forget, if you still haven't, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find both on the screen and also linked in the description, so you never miss new updates. Now, back to the analysis. Let's keep in mind that institutions are adding longs and see what we have here on the daily time frame. Well, it is clear that we're starting to see a deceleration. The market started moving to the downside aggressively. Now, every time that the market is pushing lower, immediately it is getting rejected to the upside. So buyers are once again entering to the, into this market and already institutions are clearly longing this market, which means that in a situation like this, what would I expect? Well, as usual, First of all, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push higher completing that weekly impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and rejecting the confluence of support that we have just identified from a weekly perspective. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked directly in the description of this video. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program. As soon as you open the website and scroll down, you will see that there is a complete video presentation of exactly what is included, which is essentially everything. In fact, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses. So risk management course, day trading course, swing trading course, MQL4 programming course, and automated trading. Also, you have the possibility to gain access here to all my softwares, starting from the CO2 data software, which is the one that we have used in this video. Also, the training station software with Telegram Signals integration, which essentially puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You can also gain one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me. And if you continue to scroll down the website past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility directly from the website to apply and start your journey to enter this incredible program. So I really suggest that at least you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below for any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in my next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.